back in the classroom and it's time for Sheila to start cooking up her comet. Now I need my first volunteer. The first ingredient is water and water's the same be you on earth or in, in space. So you have to wear the chef's hat. And if you just grab the bottle of water and put some water into the bowl. Keep pouring for a little bit. Uh, that should be enough. We can always add some more afterwards if we need to. Thank you very much. Silicates can be found on Earth in sand and dirt. And just get a handful of sand and then there is... It's too small. You can pretend... <laughs> just grab a handful of sand or a spoonful of sand and mix it into the water. Ammonia is found in nail varnish remover and also window cleaner. So just a few sprays of window cleaner and then give it a little bit of a mix as well. Thank you very much. So it's quite difficult to get planetary science into the classroom without just showing a movie or something, which um, I could do, but it's not as hands-on. So it's quite a nice hands-on activity, um, being able to see what, what things could look like if you could go to them. know what on earth we can find methane in. Yep. Farts. Yeah. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> Carbon compounds can be found in charcoal. That's great. There's a nice glug of vodka in there. Organic compounds or material can be found in Worcester sauce. So we just need a few, few drops of Worcester sauce in the bowl and then give it a good mix. The ice in a comet is made from dry ice. Now, dry ice is also known as carbon dioxide ice. So the air that we breathe out in ice form. The problem with um, carbon dioxide ice is that it's very, very cold. It's minus 80 degrees C. So if you touch it or if you get it in your eyes, you get a really nasty ice burn. So I'll just smash it up with a rolling pin. You see the whole bag starting to freeze. It's a bit like making apple crumble. And then we're going to pour... Oops, if I can grab the end of it. Pour the, um, pour the ice in. See all the carbon dioxide gas coming off. It looks like I'm making a witch's brew. When we have these kind of uh, visits, there, there are so many benefits. Um, it can really infuse the pupils with, with science again. Um, obviously, a lot of them view scientists as images they see in textbooks. They're often black and white, and they don't have any connection to them. So it's really exciting to get a real research scientist coming in and, and they can see them in the flesh and, and realise that they are young people with a lot of energy and enthusiasm for science and, and that can really inspire them and, and get, recapture their interest in science. And that is how you make a comet in the classroom. <laughs>